Could we be heading toward World War III? For decades, international relations theories suggested otherwise. For example, some scholars argued that institutions, interdependence, and democracy facilitated cooperation between countries. Economic globalization made armed conflicts just too costly, and nuclear weapons made wars among major powers unthinkable. But our guest, next guest says some of the world's superpowers could be on a collision course. His name is Matthew Krennic. He is the deputy director of the Atlantic Council's Scrowcroft Center for Strategy and Security, also professor at Georgetown University and a sobering op-ed in Foreign Policy magazine that I highly recommend. He wrote, in part, the major driving forces of international politics, according to international relations theory, suggest that the new Cold War among the United States, China, and Russia is unlikely to be peaceful. Matthew, why do you think we're heading down this path? Well, you set it up nicely in the introduction there. Um, when I started in graduate school over 20 years ago, uh, most of the major international relations theories thought that the major driving forces were leading to cooperation. And you mentioned them, globalization, nuclear weapons, institutions. Uh, but now uh, a lot of those conditions have changed. It's a more multipolar world. The United States is worried about conflict with Russia, China, Iran. Uh, these multipolar worlds tend to be unstable like during World War I. Um, nuclear weapons may no longer be the dominant military technology with artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and others maybe uh, putting us on the uh, uh, eve of a new revolution in military affairs. Uh, we see the major powers decoupling economically uh, with sanctions and other things, making them less economically interdependent. And norms that we used to thought, think were uh, putting guardrails on conflict are also unraveling. We see China committing genocide, uh, Russia uh, engaging in wars of aggression. Mm -hmm. So I think for all of these reasons, there uh, uh, is a reason to be concerned that the world is becoming a more uh, conflictual place uh, and a more dangerous place. M a multipolar world. It is also a divisive time here in America. Uh, it seems like many Americans can't even agree on what it means to be a patriot. Could Putin and Xi see this division as a weakness and therefore take advantage of it? Yes. One, one of the major international relations uh, theories on the causes of war is, is about miscalculation. You know, if Putin and, and Xi are convinced that the United States has the willpower to resist them and, and the uh, actual military power to resist them, uh, they're unlikely to test us. Uh, but if they think that the United States lacks the will, uh, lacks the resolve, I think war uh, becomes more likely. I, I think that may have been one of the things that motivated Putin to uh, invade Ukraine earlier this year. And, and I do worry that uh, this could still spill across borders to involve NATO, uh, that she may miscalculate regarding Taiwan, and, and that Iran may miscalculate with regard to a dash to a nuclear weapon. Matthew Krennic, thank you very much. Fascinating article in Foreign Policy.